Okay, so today I want to talk to you about energy in art and how the creative process works. Um, I call this my getting your mojo back. Um, and over the years I've, I've dealt with a lot of artists coming through and a lot of students coming through basically that art when they were younger and then stopped doing it because life got busy. And then later on in the years, they discovered that they actually have a need in their life to do art again. And this is what this um, 21 day course is about. It's about finding your creative joy back into your life again. And there's quite a few things that we do that block our energy, our creative process. One of the things that blocks our creative energy is the fact that we don't allow ourselves space to do art in our homes because our homes is always going to be neat and perfect for everybody who comes around. Even if nobody comes around, the house is always going to be in a good condition. So everybody packs their art supplies and stuff away and only take it out when they have time for art. You need a space where you can be creative and you need a space where you can mess. If you have that space where you can mess, you could just leave your things and get back to it. You're going to have more time to do art. You also have to find a way to, to make time for yourself. You have to do a date with yourself. You've got to commit to your process. And a lot of times we just mindlessly sit and scroll in front of our phones. Just, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. I want to do this. Maybe I should do this. But you never do it and then uh, the day is gone or two hours is gone because the inner, the internet sucks your time it just whoops and it, the time is gone and all these ideas and things that you see that you want to try you don't get to trying it and it builds up frustration and um and then you become dissatisfied with things around you because you're not being creative you're not spending the time to do things with your hands and that's very important is actually to take time out and make time to do your art because if you do that you're going to start to feel better immediately Picasso always used to say um, inspiration is always around but when it comes around it's got to find you working <laughs> so I find that a very nice quote because it tells me that there's going to be days where things aren't going to job. There's going to be days where no matter what I do, I'm not going to get it right. But those days I've got to do it in any case because I'll discover a new technique and the next day the flow will be back again. So you've got to understand that being creative is a process. It's not just, okay, I'm going to make a perfect painting. It's got to, there's a process, process to it. The other thing that's important to realize is that not all your artworks are going to be perfect and why does it have to be perfect where does the word perfect come from whose voice are you hearing in your head when you hear the words perfect it's got to be perfect what is perfect for you um, is it having everything in straight lines is it having only the right colors drawing within the lines because that's not creative creative is making a mess and playing around and discovering who you are and in the process you're going to get work that you're going to really like and work that you're going to be working on again and the works that you're going to be working on again you can cut up of and do a collage with it and just play with what you've got don't try and do every single work a perfect work because if you do that you're going to block your creative flow uh, a lot of people struggle with block the creative flow is that's blocked because it's got to be perfect. Um, art isn't, was never meant to be perfect. You do get good at it if you practice often and you do get good at it if you make mistakes. And you um, just to give you a short clip back of what I've discussed, um, you need your own space, you need time, you need nice art materials to work with, you need to be committed to what you do and you have to make mistakes. You have to try not to make every single work a perfect piece of art. That is the biggest flow of energy blocker, all your energy blocks when it comes to creative energy is trying for everything to be perfect. 
because then you lose hope and you stop doing what you're doing and you feel you're never going to get there, it's never going to good at, look as good as everybody else's work is. And what you have to understand is all your very good artists that are the masters that we look up to, they all made mistakes. And it, was it really a mistake? Because that was their mark, their way of putting it down, and that's what made them famous. That's what, what's making the art sell today. That is what's unique to the art. So by not allowing yourself to just go with the flow, you actually block your creative energy.